Hello everybody and welcome back to Aragon. It is time for war. War against Genoa. And half the HRE in Poland and Lithuania as well. Actually. Oh, Poland's at war with the Ottomans. Who is on whose side? And it's for Gen oh, Genoa's in the war too. That's amazing. That's amazing. So we could... So there's two ways to go about this, right? There's two ways to go about this. One is we wait for Poland not to want to join. Should be, sh should be soon. The other way to go about this is... Just attack now and just just know that those dudes are probably not gonna be that interested in fighting or anything. Okay, let's get our let's get our trade ships as well. Chilling out over here. Do we have a good admiral? Or is he no we don't. Mm -hmm. Well, that could be a bit of a problem. We might not have control of the seas. Poland, how are you feeling here? War exhaustion. It's happening. It's happening. Ottomans are just waving over them. They got the war goal. It's going to be a long one. So we got a little bit lucky there, but it makes sense that the Ottomans would attack somebody in this region that would help us in some possible way. Wait a second. What the heck happened here? No way. Ragusa must have lost this to uh, the rebels, and then the Ottomans just swooped in and grabbed it. Hmm. Kind of a bummer. We kind of missed that opportunity. Ottomans didn't miss that opportunity, that's for sure. That is for sure. One more tech, right? We're 10 years away. We are 10 years away. Not the best leader we've ever seen, but... Actually, yeah, let's switch these guys. That guy has siege, and this guy has maneuverability for getting across the strait. Naples in a few years. Close. Close. A couple more months. A little bit more war exhaustion. A couple more, a see another siege here. Oh, there goes the siege. Poland won't even join. Once Poland doesn't join, it's gonna be it's gonna be a clean one. Who else is in here that proposes a naval threat? Sienna. Sienna could definitely contribute ships to a battle. Cyprus potentially, but I don't expect them to have much. And that's kind of what we're looking at. We're definitely going to be going a little bit past 1500 here, but I think we're going to have a nice little conclusion to this. The Ottomans are just just destroying them here. In fact, actually, we got Denise up here just doing making doing sieges. We don't want the Ottomans to come over here, and it's unlikely that they would, but. Poland will not join. Time to go. I wanted this to be as smooth as humanly possible, so we are calling in France. That being said, if we didn't call in France, then we could use them against Portugal. No, I want I want France in here. I want France in here. Oh, they have a fort right here. How, how badly is that going to mess us up? We're a Miltech back on them, I bet. No. No, we're both eight. Hmm. Interesting. 
Okay, so France is gonna take that one for us. I hope France doesn't have like some sort of secret like desire for that province. That would be no no good for us. Where are our transports? Oh, they're back over here. That's okay. Technically, we can't reach over there, but that's fine. We're just going to kind of hang out here. France hopefully is sieging down some of the, uh, wow, Liege is actually, wow, Burgundy is not doing so well. Did they lose? They lost, oh, Flanders, Brabant, and Holland are all independent. Well, that'll do it. That'll do it. 7% on this siege. I want to get out of this quickly because I don't want this to affect the Ottomans' ability to get what they want. I want to get this out, liberate Genoa, and then force the Ottomans to continue fighting. And just sort of weak, continuing to weaken uh, Poland and Lithuania. It's weird. Well, I don't know. Hmm. Well, I guess if the Ottomans continue fighting, that weakens the Ottomans too in, in many ways, right? Really? You guys aren't down with this, huh? Close. That's going to be enough, enough aggressive expansion <laughs> that... Uh, So what we could start doing is buttering these people up. Milan, well, Savoy's always, I think Savoy's going to be upset with us no matter what. Um, Milan, Luca, Venice. Milan, Luca, and Venice. Milan for sure. Milan and Venice. Basically, if Milan and Venice don't want to join, I, I think we're going to be totally fine here. Ooh, I don't know if we, we want to engage in this. It looks like we had some support from somebody. Okay. Good. But you know it's almost 100% sieged. Can we separate piece out? Siena is actually sieged. I'll take a stability. Even it means making the uh We have money. Kinda scared me because it was in red, right? The tickets were in red. It's just kinda like, what the heck? And I didn't see any green. I was like, what are we paying for? But I didn't like the bottom option there. Oh, that's fantastic. Yarn. I mean, a lot of these trade goods aren't uh, anything I'm super excited about. Seventy-one percent. I bet you once we get Ulm. Yeah, Ulm's one of the enthusiastic ones in the bunch here. Once we get Ulm, we'll be fine. But are we sieging down East Frisia? Somebody else is. Lundberg is. That's a separate. That's a completely separate war, I believe. East Frisia is not doing too well. Funny thing is, we could. Well, East Frisia is technically not part of the HRE, so it's an interesting landing point. I wonder what the history is there. This province is not part of the HRE, so it's an interesting landing point for non-HRE members to try to get that province and then like bounce over to Denmark. Or from Denmark to, well, I guess Denmark to, can't really bounce off. This is the same sea tile. But for other people to bounce into here and then to get to Denmark and, and keep going that way. Pretty good foothold for the non-HRE members. Ten percent. Someone's already teched up two military techs? Wow, someone's gone way ahead. Someone's already military tech ten. That's crazy. Portugal, is that you? No. England? No. I don't know who did that. 
I mean, I definitely would imagine it being... Okay. Florence did it. One of the Italians, yeah. 90%. Let's, uh, let's pull back on Venice here. Ooh, I don't think it's going to join the coalition because they're going to be too happy with us to do that. Don't get me wrong. That's, uh... That's a lot of aggressive expansion, right? Lawrence is someone that we're going to want to butter up for sure. Venice should not join. Okay. Venice and Mil Milan actually it's saying they will join. Let's, well, we could wait a year or two. Seven years until we can do Spain. We need to get out of this war. Let's just keep working on Milan. And now let's also get somebody going on Florence. There we go. This is looking pretty nice. You know, we don't have these two provinces from France, of course, because we're allied to France. But for the most part, this is looking pretty good. I mean, everybody's a little bit uh, on edge about what we're doing. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about that, but Morocco's actually Morocco's actually going to be the first to join the coalition. You know, technically, this is what we would do. This is where we essentially just immediately declare on Morocco. Okay, I don't think Milan can join against us now. Lawrence is uh, thinking that they're going to jump in on us, huh? This is where we would just attack Morocco to prevent them from, from the coalition from going any further, right? Let's take a look at Morocco. We Unfortunately, we, we let Florence get in on this as well. 20,000. We have tons of manpower. Yeah. Uh, do we have the claims? We don't have a CB on Morocco. No, we goofed up. We goofed up on that. Holy cow, that's not good. A lot of people are going to join this. People are just going to be piling in here. Actually, this could make everybody happy. That could help us boost happiness just a little bit. Maybe fend off some of these aggressive people. Get the claims going there. Six years. Six years till Spain. What is the overextension from taking that? I imagine it's pretty high. 46%. That's not too bad. Okay, where's this bit for, um... Oh, dominate Genoa here. Oh, and then Genoa has to... Okay, wait a second. Owned by Aragon. At least center of trade level 3. We could actually make it so Luca wouldn't even join. Now that army professionalism would have been kind of nice, but let's make it so Luca doesn't even join the coalition. That'd be kind of useful. Military tacking up is going to be useful here. This new infantry. That's fine. Let's go over here. This is going to get everybody nice and super happy. Make us super money. Which actually, if I knew we were going to hit that button, we might have actually gone about things slightly differently there. Those are all level 2. Oh, Genoa was level 3. Now it's level 2. Because right when you conquer a province, it goes from 3 to 2. So this is one of the few... World Trade Ports, I believe, at the beginning of the game. So we would need 1,000 ducats to get this up to level 3 again. It's actually incredibly expensive if you think about it. That's probably why maybe 
the game tries to get you to vassalize them or something. I'm not sure. And that actually gives us claims on uh, Venice, which is kind of crazy. Tuscany, Venice, all of it, Italy. Dang, I mean, these just, like, literally, these just let you conquer the entire world, it looks like. Essentially, all of Europe, at least. Big chunk of it, most of it. I don't know if we... Yeah, because one of those even gets us going on France, right? If we took this, we'd get claims on France. We get claims everywhere. So, for some reason, we're only getting... Oh, you know what? That's because... Um... The overextension is affecting our diplomatic reputation, so that's slowing this down slightly. Still only one year away from that integration, which is going to be great. Here I'm kind of hoping actually for the option where we fight. Yeah, because I'd rather not make them happy. I'd rather just beat them up a bit. Now we here we can start getting these claims. Heck, that's 10 development. Go with that instead. Lawrence doesn't even want to be in the Coalition anymore, really. They're at plus four. Coalition of two right now. Not much of a coalition, if you ask me. Yep, it's coalition of two. One of these guys actually likes us, so I'm not that worried. and rebels popping up here. That's probably because we're converting it. Makes sense. We are paying for forts. That's probably appropriate. No, it's not the same state. We do need to go back and pick this guy up. Yeah, I think having that. Conveniently, we actually have that one lone transport. Send that back. happened to the war over here? What did the Ottomans end up taking? Wait, Ottomans, did you... Wait, you didn't even take the province that you attacked that you went for? They went for this, I believe. They didn't even take it? I'm actually super confused. They were like full... They were like storming on Poland. What happened? What happened? This is going to like vastly affect our diplomatic relations again, but that's okay for 10 years. So boy, are they going to want to join? We're not even worried about them at the moment. Uh, they're technically just uh, upset at us enough to join. Ironically, Portugal can't. Portugal's at war with France. Oh, France is, is now finally attacking England. They're not calling us in to help. That's kind of tricky, France. I mean, you're going to get this, but think about it, you know. Could have been smoother. Could have been a bit smoother. It looks like we can hit a button. Which one? Integrate Naples. There we go. Oh, they're beautiful red now. They are beautiful red. Whew, that's looking nice. Looking nice. 
And that gives, ooh, that gives claims on all this, but not on Greece. Not on the actual Greece nation that has popped up in, what is this, Naxos or something like that? I guess it's, the name is dynamically changed, but. That's, I'm not worried about prestige. I'm kind of thinking we attack Morocco. Like we could even call in the Papal State and they would help beat up... Uh, they would probably help beat up... Florence for us. We have that nice fort in Genoa too. Heck, if Rebels even pop up in Genoa, Florence might even take care of those for us, which is crazy. We have 100 legitimacy. Everything is working. Everything is working. Here's the question. Can we be... Do we have to be at peace for this button? At peace, yes. Yes, the only thing missing is Administrative Tech 10. We're going to be paying a bit of a penalty for this. But... Okay, yep, Genoa. 20,000 too. Okay, let's... Let's, let's scurry back. Now, luckily, they should pop up in Genoa, so that's going to be good, at least. And yeah, we got money. I don't want to lose army professionalism. I don't think we've actually been building. That's one of the things we've been weak about, but we are up to 30%. We could have that higher. We could have had that much higher. Eek. Morocco spotted her spy. The funny thing is, wait a second, wait a second. And we want them to pop up. I'm just noticing that they almost won't even... Yeah, they almost won't even fire if we were actually suppressing rebels. So let's just beat them up. There we go. They're taken care of. Get these guys back to Morocco. That's January. Two years. Steel loves us. They're not going to exist in two years. So let's... Not worry about that. Who else is potentially thinking coalition? Eh, no one. Yep, it's fallen off enough. There's, there's, yeah. Like these people that are thinking coalition, even, yeah, they should be leaving. Sometimes you have to, you have to quit out of the game and restart for those to, for the AI to kind of like update on that, whether or not they feel like they want to be in the coalition or not. We're going to get a huge... Oh, wait a second. Oh, because we inherited uh, Naples' troops. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. We're way over the force limit. How many cav do we have like in total? In our total army here. Let's go down to speed 4. And let the game run while we kind of like review some stuff. We only have 6,000 cav, yeah. Let's get rid of some actual dudes. And they should be mercenaries. They should be mercenaries.
We're at max manpower. There we go. Now we should be making bank. Yeah. Especially because, I mean, Naples wasn't even giving us any money to begin with. Did we end up adopting Naples' as No, we don't have the same claims that they had on Ragusa and such. We kind of need to be manually building that up ourselves. France still likes us. They're doing their thing against England, which is nice. Heck, now that I think about it, if we... Wait a second. If we attack Portugal right now... If we attack Portugal... I hope in, uh, France doesn't take that land because that'd be really nice. But if we attack Portugal right now... I don't think England's going to join. And I don't think France is going to be ending their war against England with only 25% war score. I'm going to hold on to this. It's going to take them a while. Okay, they pieced out They pieced out Portugal. What does that give them in the total war? 39%? I think they're still going to hold. They're going to hold on. Who else is in the war? It's just, it's just England and Brittany. Okay. England's actually landing troops, so they got to at least like take that back. January, so I think we're at one more year. We could hit the button now. Let's definitely... Ooh, wow. Some, ooh, some of these are like amazing estates. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fantastic. Now, I don't... Ooh, I don't want to spend that much admin. I want to make sure we can afford the, uh, the tech up. And I'm just waiting till January. The question is, I don't even know. Like, do we attack Morocco first, or do we... no? Morocco, they've left. The, they've left the coalition. The Morocco and Portugal are just ripe for the taking right now. I think Portugal is actually, yeah, Portugal is more likely to actually um, change their sort of situation. Right. Morocco is not going to get any allies in the next ten years. Portugal, right now, England probably won't join. We'll want to take care of that. Wait a second, no, just leave like a single troop. And I think it should be, yeah, there. And I don't know, did you build a fort? Did this AI do that? I don't think the AI really builds forts. It's gonna work with what they got. Those guys are set up just right. Actually, we should just, yeah, these, these dudes should be moved over. Waiting till January. Actually, another good question is, are we in a... We are in... We do... We can embrace. So we'll even save... We'll, we'll save some points on it, too. Great. We have some more ships. I bet you we're over a naval force limit. Big time. But that might change when we grab... We'll, we'll rebalance the situation once we re-grab... Once we become Spain. Ooh, we're so close, guys. We have 100 legitimacy unless we get some sort of crazy event... We are going to get this, guys. We are going to get this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do... Let's hit all the buttons. So we're going to need a loan. To be able to buy Embrace the Institution. Now that we can get Tech 10, a decision is going to pop up. Form Spain diplomatically new traditions and ambitions yes please Ooh, look at that look at that actually we're gonna have to wait for this to update to see oh we actually wait do we get a free do, wait does this include a colonist this includes a, a colonist Despite the fact that we don't even have exploration ideas. Crazy. That's really nice. Yearly papal influence. me. 15% more morale. That's in one artillery. That's good. And we could take exploration ideas. It'd be the most thematic thing we could do. 
That being said, heck, do we have the colonial range? We can, wow. Nice. Very nice, guys. Very nice. That is a nice looking Spain for 1518. That is a nice looking Spain. Now let's go to the missions though. These might take these might take a month to update. Just wait a month and have everything update here. Do we have a thing a special CB for Portugal? That's kind of my question. Kind of doing a lot of fiddling here. We also got more decisions we could be hitting too. Did we maintain the uh, the claims that Morocco? No, the Castile had no. We did not. Let's see what other decisions we got. Are any of these related to Spain? Well, that's good. Either way. Okay, so we don't get the Spanish ideas. Is that what's up? Unless maybe it's just at the end of the year. It, it says Spanish Navy. There. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If those updated or not. No clue. Spending 25 ducats because we're over our force limit by a ton. These are well trailed troops, actually. Let's see how we're looking here. All right, guys, that was a fantastic campaign. It ended up we ended up really started. We we were rocking and rolling by the end of it. We were really rocking and rolling by the end of it. Um, I don't even know where Portugal ended up because I'm not really seeing evidence of them anywhere. Uh, they might be over here. Yeah, they're over here. So we have formed Spain. We went a little bit longer than 1500. That's not the intent of the series, but I think because of the situation, because of forming Spain, because of doing some other things, finishing some of our missions, I think that was the only way that this could end. This was also golden century, right? Exploration. And we learned a lot by hitting these buttons. So apparently we don't actually get the new idea groups from going from Aragon to Spain, which is kind of strange. Huh. Which almost kind of makes me wonder... But uh, what I think we'll do is this is going to be the end of the episode. And I think this one ran a little bit. Then we're going to have like a conclusion episode where we probably talk. I just kind of commentate a little bit about what I thought of the start, how things could have been different, how we could have improved on things, and also looking at the timeline, right? We'll do a quick little timeline recap of the uh, of the campaign here. And wow, you know, that's pretty good. So is this updated yet? Spain is number one. There you go. 1518, we are by far the most developed country in the world. Not counting Ming, but... Uh, I think for the most part, we are doing it fantastically. Militarily, though, our force limit's not as high as I would expect. That being said, hold the phone. Because we can do... We have nine states. We could give out nine states. Look at some of these. We haven't even stated all of these, all of this stuff. Look at how... Oh, man. Okay, we're, we're going to do a, like a wrap-up episode, guys. We'll do a wrap-up. This one already went a bit long. Thank you so much, everybody. I will see you guys in the next one.